Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for question 5 of the math proficiency test. You'll need to pass this test if you want to become a certified math teacher in Ontario or any type of teacher at the elementary level as well, so we might as well get to it. Just before getting started, I would really appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button below the video. And now to get started, you can review the theory behind this question. So really what we're looking at is the order of operation. And most of us probably remember something like bed mass. And but bed mass can be rewritten and it can be confused sometimes. So the first thing we do is we do brackets. And then exponents. And then division or multiplication, which one comes first. So left to right is usually the indication and then it, this is addition or subtraction. So if we look at our specific example, we have 17 minus 2 times 3 plus 9. We have no brackets, no exponents. Exponents are just like something that looks like this. So anything squared, 2 is the exponent, right? And then we have one multiplication. So we could start with 2 times 3, but or should we do minus 2 times 3? Hmm, like there's there's two ways of seeing this here, right? We have, we could do, so maybe let's split it into two ways. So method number one, the first way and then the second way. So if we do 17 minus 2 times 3. So it'd be two times three, so that's six, and then plus nine. And now we're on the AS level. And so we do addition and subtraction from left to right. So we could do 17 minus six, which is 11. So I will put an equal sign because that is just the same thing. So that's 11 plus nine. So I'm grouping the first two. And then 11 plus nine is simply 20. So the second way we could have interpreted this is that really we have something like 17 plus negative 2 times 3 plus 9, right? Like that's the negative 2 times 3 that we could have done. So that would be 17 plus negative 6 plus 9. So now we have three additions with a negative number. So notice that this negative is a negative. So I'll, I'll make this little subtlety. So this is a negative sign, it's a negative number, but this is not a negative number, it's a subtraction. So, but, but this little subtlety is really every subtraction. So like, let's say we have four minus two is the same as adding. So we, all we have is added addition of negative numbers. This is the same thing. This is four minus two, which is equal to two. The, the, they say the same thing. So now if we add a negative number, we get 11, we're going left to right, and then plus nine, which is 20. And so that would be question B. Now for uh, answer number B. So now to build intuition, I put another example just to make us think a little bit deeper. So the first thing we look at is bed mass, we have brackets. So we need to do the brackets first. So in the brackets, we have the exponent. So we have eight times two, we just leave that there for now. So we have the exponent, we do that first. So four squared is four times four, it's not eight, it's not four times two, it's four times four, which is 16 minus two divided by seven. And we're still looking at the brackets, right? Because we're at the we're still in the bracket level. So we still have a bracket. So it's 16 minus two. So that's 14. And then divided by seven. Add the equal signs, don't forget that. And then we are at the next level, we don't have an exponent. We have multiplication and division. So which one do we do first? We do the left to right. So we'll, we'll do 16 plus 14 divided by seven. 
And then we're still on the division level, so it would be 16 plus 14 divided by 7 is 2, and that would be 18. So this is an example where there's a little bit more complexity, and there's many, many examples. You can just Google them, and you can practice that infinitely. It's just about doing the work. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.